Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome to PMMP 4553 Sheet Metal Technology and today it, and this is our lecture 5 and I'll be talking about laser cutting so the total slide is about uh, 29 slides so uh, I expect to be talking about in about 30 to 40 minutes so, so what is a laser? And a laser is that if we if the situation is that when we apply an energy, a lot of energy to an electron, okay, it can leave what is called the ground state energy level and go to an excited level. The level of excitation depends on the amount of energy that is applied to the electron uh, uh, through heat, light, or even electricity. Now, once the electron moves to a higher energy level, it will eventually return to the ground state. And when it does, it releases its energy as a photon, a particle of light. And a laser is a device that controls the way energized atoms release uh, photons. Okay, and laser is actually an acronym uh, for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So you can uh, imagine it, for example, as a like a a pool ball. If you imagine, it's, for example, it's like a, a pool ball where you have one ball, and the player hits it with the pool stick, and that pool ball the white pool ball will hit the colored pool ball and that uh, that pool ball will, that with the same energy will move in the direction in that direction and with this this you have two moving objects so this is the uh, how uh, in principle how a simplified principle on how a, a laser is being uh, is is defined by what, what it means by the definition of stimulated emission So in laser cutting and drilling, the focus laser beam is directed onto the surface of the workpiece to rapidly heating it up and resulting the workpiece being melted or vaporized, okay, depending on the beam intensity and also workpiece material. <clears throat> and lasers can be used effectively to cut uh, plates, metal plates of up until 10 centimeters. And the cut surfaces are roughly parallel uh, and straight the edge, meaning that when the workpiece is cut with laser that cut area is almost parallel and straight edge okay if you for example cut using a band saw for example cutter so you, oftentimes you have a lot of burr and this is you 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 the, this, this is what the advantage of laser is okay and the total heat input required for laser cutting is relatively small resulting in a small heat affected zone size of the order of just 0.1 millimeter and laser cutting is used for both straight and contour cutting of sheet and plate stock and a wide variety of material okay and this is the schematic of laser cutting process okay you have the laser beam laser beam here direction the gas flow and this is the cut edge okay the area that's been cut and this is the uh, the wood piece the remaining wood piece and this is the direction of the laser cutter going okay and this would be the ejected molten material after being heated by the laser beam so what are the forms of laser cutting? There are three forms of laser cutting. One is fusion cutting. The second is sublimation cutting. And finally is photochemical ablation. What is fusion cutting? So it's basically uh, you heat the base material, which is the workpiece, okay, melting it, and then using a high pressure assist gas okay, to remove the remaining material. As what we see in the previous picture and this assist gas may be an inert gas okay in which case the energy of the melting is provided entirely by the laser beam for example uh, inert gas for example like uh, helium or even nitrogen okay, which does not which does not react with the with the base material 
or the wood piece. Oh, it may also be oxygen or air which reacts with the base metal and resulting in exothermic reaction providing additional energy to enhance the process. Meaning that with oxygen, because it can uh, react with the base metal at high uh, uh, that, at that high temperature, so the base metal is uh, will become weaker with the uh, with the evidence of with the evidence of air on the surrounding metal, and it will help to speed up the process of cutting. So the major problem of fusion cutting is the formation of stri striations on the cut surface made on dross, which is the molten material that clings to and solidifies on the underside of the cut edge. In that, for example, if you uh, uh, the, what what means by dross is that when you cut, you have a tiny amount, okay, of the material clinging at the base. When once the laser beam cuts the material, okay, the small, uh, which is not so much as compared to not so uh, just a minimum, not so much when you compare to other cutting process, for example. Uh, cutting basic, uh, or even uh, CNC cutting okay so it's not so uh, the, 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 the amount is not is just small however the fusion cutting process is more efficient and it requires less energy per unit volume of material as compared to the, the other two methods next is sublimation cutting and in sublimation cutting the workpiece material is vaporized along with the cutting seam and this is often achieved using a pulsed beam and a jet of inert assist gas that is coaxial with the beam is used to blow away the vapor produced. So this is limited to a thin section since more energy is required to remove a new volume of material as compared to the latter. However, it has the advantage of a narrower, narrower curve. The curve meaning that if you cut the material using a laser cut, okay, this gap, okay, excuse for my uh, if this is the laser itself, this we call it as the curve. And pulse beam with high peak power may be necessary when surface quality is critical. Next is photochemical ablation. Organic materials such as ceramics or difficult to cut materials in general are normally cut by this method. Uh, Photochemical ablation is also known as cold cut cutting because it doesn't uh, it doesn't involve because the material is not so um, it's not at very high uh, being exposed to the high energy of the of the laser and the organic compounds tend to absorb this ultraviolet radiation in an efficient manner. So the photon energy levels of laser is basically around the range of 3.5 and 6.5 electrovolt which corresponds with the energy levels required for molecular bonding. So if an organic material is irradiated with an ultraviolet beam, it absorbs the beam's energy in a very thin layer near the surface and the order of submicrons thereby breaking the molecular bonds causing ability to composition of the irradiated area. So for example, like a certain ceramic materials, it's very difficult, requires high energy to cut through laser Okay, what we do is that the laser itself will just irradiate at the surface and slowly breaking down the material layer by layer. So the process occurs almost instantaneously, okay, about around 20 nanoseconds of duration. And since the thermal conductivity of organic material is relatively low, the resulting edges are well defined with minimal thermal damage to the surrounding area. Thus, the cut region is cleaner and smoother compared to that obtained using CO2 and neodymium, yttrium, aluminium garnet lasers. The process is sometimes referred to as cold cutting, as I mentioned before, since little heat is generated. So, what are the components of a laser cutting system? Okay, you will see in the next slide. The basic components of a laser cutting system is requires the laser generator that produces the beam a beam delivery system for directing the beam to the workpiece, a nozzle assembly that focuses the, uh, the laser and coaxial with the beam and directing also for directing the assist gas to the workpiece, a motion unit for providing relative motion between the laser beam and the workpiece, and also an exhaust 
for the waste material. Okay. So this is the laser beam generator, uh, um, laser beam coming from the generator, and uh, I'll show also in the next in in, in the in further slides how what is the type of generator that can be used that that is available, and the mirror that is part of the delivery system. Okay, that helps to uh, direct the uh, direct the direction of the uh, the light or the, of the of the laser, and the focusing lens, gas flow, which is helps to uh, push away the the workpiece, the uh, the remaining workpiece. Yeah, this is the a nozzle assembly that that is consists of the gas and also the laser itself, and mismatch the workpiece and an exhaust system to remove the excess material. So the beam normally emerges from the generator horizontally, meaning the direction would be similar to this as we saw in the previous picture, and then it will be vertically deflected downwards by a bending mirror. And since the beam is then focused by the lens onto the workpiece, at the same time a gas jet is directed through a nozzle attaching to the tip of the focusing assembly onto the workpiece. And a typical nozzle diameter is about 1 until 2 mm. And the delivery pressures are normally maintained at about 3 to 4 bars or 0.3 until 0.4 megapascal in the gas jet nozzle for cutting thin materials at high speeds. At high gas pressures, it is often necessary to use relatively thick lens that can withstand the pressure of uh, the, the, the pressure of the, the of the gas. So it is preferable to use reflective optics rather than transmit transmissive optics at high pressure, so that it can it can sustain uh, the the high pressure of the of the laser and gas. And the distance from the nozzle to the workpiece surface is typically maintained about 0.3 mm to minimize expansion of the gas flow because if you have uh, if the distance of the nozzle with the workpiece okay, mm -hmm, is large, then you you would get a, a so much a build up at the area of the workpiece okay, of the expansion of the gas itself. And directly opposite on the other side, on the other side of the workpiece, okay, you have the exhaust to remove excess material or the molten debris from the cut. And this will consist of a vacuum pump that draws the exhaust to a disposal unit. So, re recapping back how laser cutting works is just by concentrating high amounts of energy into a small, well-defined spot. And the resulting heat energy created by the laser vaporizes the materials in this small defined area. In that laser beam is concentrated on a small area, and this area with with um, uh, focus on it. Okay, so the material in time will vaporize, okay, fall into debris, and picked up by the exhaust system. Okay. And a gas or a mixture of gases such as oxygen, CO2, or nitrogen, and or helium is used to blow the vaporized material off the curve, which is, which is the width of, as I mentioned before, groove. Okay, the the this area, okay, opening by uh, zoom zoom in. This is called the curve. We find as the curve as well. And the beam energy is applied directly where it is needed, minimizing the heat affected zone surrounding the area being cut. So you can imagine if uh, if you you can cut, for example, uh, using um, using gas cutting, okay, using gas cutting, okay, and that gas cutting also serves, so for example, as laser, but is uh, but also using heat, but that gas cut cutting. It has very large area of the heat affected zone. Okay, we call this as the heat affected zone. But laser would have very minimal uh, heat affected zone because of the concentrated beam. So this is an example of how a laser cutting machine is set up. We have the diode rack here which generates the laser beam and 
through a fiber optic is brought to the resonator with the built-in beam expander the aiming beam and also the safety shutter and this is where the the beam is directed from vertical direction to horizontal sorry from horizontal direction to a vertical downward direction okay and this this resonator would uh, define how large the beam size how small the beam size how intense the radiation of the laser beam and where is it to focus even comes with a safety shutter in case of if you if there is uh, if there's any uh, something wrong with the machine itself you can automatically cut the uh, the source of the laser light so that it won't affect the work pit surrounding area and normally we have a, a computer to control or give instructions uh, to numerically control the positions where the where they want the laser to cut or drill even or cut a hole okay so uh, because uh, this uh, you have a much more precision okay the, the method of, of even programming the 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 laser machine is through g code okay so usually connects up to the software that and that software controls the communicates through the control panel with the with the uh, direct order laser generator so let the laser optics and uh, compa computer numerical controlled are used to direct the material or the laser beam being generated okay and a typical commercial laser for cutting materials would involve a motion control system to follow a CNC or a G code. Okay, as I mentioned just now, a G code or the pattern to be cut onto the material. And so the focused laser beam is directed at the material, which then either melts, burn, vaporizes, or is blown away by a jet of gas, as I mentioned, leaving an edge with a high quality surface finish. And industrial laser cutters are used to cut flat sheet material as well as structural piping material. So, uh, the uh, what is so to again summarize what is laser cutting? It is a precise method of cutting a design from a given material using a CAD file to guide it. And there are three types of main uh, three types of main types of lasers used in the industry. The first is CO two lasers, which is we have right now in our lab. The second is neodymium, and the third one is neodymium yttrium aluminium garnet okay what it means is this is the source of the laser or the lasing material okay and the co2 lasers is uh, abundantly available okay it is uh, is is the more popular type of laser uh, compared to the other two so what application okay and what kind of uh, the laser power that that is related to it okay so if you are cutting uh, thin materials uh, of non-metal such as paper acrylics which is polymers polycarbonate or mylar stencil then your laser power is around 150 150 watt to 450 watt uh, the peak power thin materials for example the post plastics and fabrics up to 0.04 inch can be cut at full speed by 150 watt average laser power okay, it would be enough if you're cutting uh, thicker materials also non-metal uh, such as a thicker plastics wood and some metals okay which is up to one inch or about 2.5 uh, 25.4 uh, millimeter okay so you can go up to from 250 to 1550 watt power okay this may become uh, resulting in slower cutting speed. The slower cutting process may lead to additional heat being absorbed by the part and resulting in a, a larger heat affected zone damage. Okay. And for metals, okay, you can go from 150 watt up until 2500 watt power. And this is we use for cut aluminium or brass. Okay which is due to the reflectivity of the materials. If stainless steel is to be clean cut using a high, high pressure nitrogen gas, then you should use a high power 500 watt machine. Okay. 
or synthesis of cold rose steel spring tool may also be uh, can also be cut using an oxygen assist gas. So what are the laser head tolerance defined as? The beam emitted from what the laser tube is reflected by mirrors up in the laser head. Okay, the beam itself from the, the mirror above that that directs the laser beam from horizontal to vertical. Okay, so within the head is a lens. Okay, this is the focal lens here that finally focuses the beam onto the material surface for cutting or engraving. And the curve refers to how much of the material is the laser takes away from the cutting tool, okay, which is the weight of the roof. And this varies from material to material and it is also dependent on the laser beam tolerance, okay, which is the width of the beam here. So the mirror directs uh, the optical unit is this, the mirror that directs the beam from the source down to the lens. Then the lens then focuses the beam onto the desired geometry and finally this is gas is added to remove the molten metal. Okay, this is more a uh, much more uh, detailed schematic of the previous uh, diagram or figure showing how laser uh, works. Okay. So how we compare laser cutting with other cutting process? Okay, laser cutting is very versatile as compared to other types of uh, cutting materials. Okay, we have for example, uh, it has laser when compared to uh, punch or plasma, or even with uh, water jet cutting. Okay, it can have very high uh, rate of uh, working material as compared to other processes. It has very good uh, edge quality because of its uh, uh, parallel, very fine, uh, straight uh, direction as compared to other types of uh, uh, process, cutting process. It has very small curve width. We can control the curve width. Okay. And as compared to noise, okay, it's much lower compared to for example, a abrasive water jet cutting or even oxy flame cutting, and it can it can cut metal, non metals. Uh, complex shapes can be can be formed. It has. Uh, you can also uh, what it means by partnering is that you can you can design okay different uh, shapes into a program and then cut to a to a single work piece. Okay, that is meant by the by partnering. The only drawback is that it can't, it is not advisable to cut multiple layers as opposed to other process. Okay, it's, and it only can be compared with uh, that uh, for punch uh, cutting. Okay, the, and also another drawback is the high equipment cost. Okay, high volume of uh, production, flexibility. It, it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't affect much by the two wear as, as a pet. As opposed to, for example, uh, NC milling or cutting, okay, or sewing, it can be automated, low, very low heat affected zone when, com when we compare with, with the uh, oxy flame cutting, it can be clamped, clamping, or not clamped at all, use or use vacuum. We can have blind cuts, can mean that you it's not a through hole that you want to cut. We just want to uh, remove a certain part of the material. The edge of the material can be weldable. Okay, of course, if you use plasma or oxy flame cutting, then because of the large area of the heat affected zone, that edge you cannot be well. It's not advisable to weld. You have to remove a, a larger area of the part if you want to weld that area. And it doesn't require any tool changes. Mean that you can adjust the intensity of the beam. Or you, you can adjust the width of the beam to to, uh, to the size uh, if you want to really a uh, high uh, cutting rate material. Okay, if you using and similarly you have to if you want to have a different different um, hole to drill, then you have to change the the machine have to change to another tool to to uh, to to proceed to the next process, for example. So this is the advantages of laser, a laser cutting machine. Okay, almost no limit of the cutting path of laser. Okay, the point can be moved in any direction. 
Okay, the only thing that is what we have in our lab right now is a two axis uh, laser cutter. Actually, you can have a five up to five or seven axis of laser cutter. Okay, that can be, um, they can produce complex design. Okay, and without expensive tooling costs or long lead times. It can do small, uh, uh, of course, any small diameter holes that cannot be made with other machine processor can easily be, be performed with a laser. Since the process is non-contact and non-force, very fragile parts can be cut with little or no support. Okay, and the part keeps its original shape from start to finish. And laser can cut at very high speeds. It, uh, they, they do not have parts that will dull and need to be replaced, uh, like a, a drill bit or a tool bit or cutting bit. Okay. And it allows you to cut a wide range of materials, whether it's metal or non-metal. Okay, you, uh, and does not require a second. Sometimes, the pro, the quality of the cut is almost uh, at uh, at the net uh, net uh, design. Okay, the final dimension. And sometimes we you don't have to do any secondary process. Okay. And laser cutting is a very cost-effective process with low operating and maintenance cost and maximum flexibility. Okay, the advantage you can have uh, the flexibility of precision cutting of simple or complex parts, non-contact uh, cut, which means no marks or contamination of the material, and it will, it is it, it has very low uh, waste material to generate compared to when you, for example, using a CNC machining. And a high quality cut with no extra finishing required and the ability to uh, cut almost any material and what are the drawbacks okay some limitation of materials uh, materials that are crystalline and reflective materials cannot be cut for example uh, if the if uh, it has uh, if the material has, has a coating that can reflect the laser beam then it's not advisable it's, it's a dangerous to use laser cutting and, pr and producing a piercing hole that can make the pattern design more difficult. Okay, if you if we make so much uh, holes that are that are uh, after cutting itself, so uh, the design itself if it's too complex, sometimes it is very difficult. Okay, uh, laser machining. Okay, uh, the reflected laser light can present. Okay, this is regards with, with regards with the reflected material. Okay, the reflected laser can present a safety hazard. And the cost, of course, of the machine itself is much higher when compared to other cutting processes. Okay, uh, in similar way, can if we compare it with uh, oxy flame cutting, okay, we just use an oxy acetylene gas, okay, and also uh, with uh, uh, engine uh, generating fire, you can just straight away cut, and you can move around, okay, mobile, but the laser cutting machine would need a specialized area, okay, to to place the machine, so it's the cost, the original, the the initial cost of the machine itself is very, very high compared to other cutting process. So some of the safety hazards when operating with a laser cutting machine is that uh, the workpiece, because of its uh, laser at very high temperature, okay, the, uh, the workpiece uh, is is also as, as, uh, the the part where the laser cut is. Is, is is in contact with is very hot okay and high uh, it's dangerous to have any hand or eye contact with the beam itself it can injure the person especially with eye contact it can blind the person okay the fumes that created from the for example the uh, sublimation cutting when we vapor the the material uh, for example uh, for example uh, polycarbonate okay so you can that that fume if uh, it's dangerous to inhale and other smoke or fumes or dust particles from the workpiece are uh, environmental risk to uh, to uh, 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 that according to uh, this uh, environmental safety standards so finally so th what are the some of the example product okay cut using laser cutter or for example machine parts and you have aluminum sheet cutting or metal sheet cutting from pipe cutting okay you can have a square pipe hollow. Okay, this is for example like a track, like in your know, kitchen cabinets. You can cutting saw. Okay, and also a razor blade. Okay, so in uh, some uh, features that you want to create with uh, with uh, with complex design can be achieved with laser cutting. So in conclusion. 
Okay, an efficient use of laser cutters is very material and application dependent. Can be done because of the, as I mentioned just now, because of the high initial cost of the machine itself. Okay, so it depends on the what are the materials that you need to cut and how, 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 what is the rate of production or is the volume of manufacturing itself. Uh, uh, the initial start of costs are high, as I mentioned, but the larger cost is uh, is the gas used to expel the material after cut. Okay, that is uh, using most of the uh, of the laser itself because when it's running, the laser itself is 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 uh, is it's also already uh, maintained but the gas used to expel the material is the one that is uh, is majority of the cost is, is contributing and also laser cutting can create very precise cuts with little to no finishing work required as compared to other uh, cutting process so that is all for me thank you very much for your attention and i hope if you uh, you get some insight okay on the laser cutting machine and you will get you will actually have more experience when you start your lab uh, session uh, uh, with in more general okay, what i thought we just uh, uh, just basically telling you explaining you on how what is the, uh, the background of laser what are some of the types of cutting of laser what are the mechanism and what are the uh, drawbacks advantages of laser cutting okay and compared to other processes so i hope you have um, gained some insight on laser cutting today if any if you have any questions you can write up in our uh, whatsapp group or our uh, microsoft teams or even if you want to uh, place a question in in the youtube comments below you can also uh, please do so and i uh, will it, regardless in any uh, place or medium that you use you, know, you want to post question then I uh, 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 I will try my best to uh, to help to explain so thank you very much for your attention today and uh, I'll see you in our next lesson Assalamualaikum and have a good day